Hey, so um, time to actually start setting up the pump and hooking it to the sump. Uh, there's been a slight change of plans. I Anybody who's been paying far too much attention to my videos may have noticed that uh, these three holes were on the uh, right side. I was having those uh, I was planning on having those be on the return side. Um, this video might be a little bit longer. I've been trying to keep my videos to about a minute, two minutes or so. But this one has some details that I think are important, so I apologize if this runs a little bit. Um, I was planning on drilling an additional hole on the other side, um, which didn't have any holes. And I thought about it and realized that you know, I'd prefer not to do that. Uh, the next step is I need to hook the pump up to the sump. Um, my initial plans, I'm sorry cat, my initial plans <laughs> were to have it hooked up basically sideways like this and um, you know have some sort of go that way and uh, go this way and that would be great. Um, issue I ran into with that was with this particular pump I need a good six inches of clearance a straight clearance so for the water to get in here properly so I would have to mark it up about to that uh, didn't work for me uh, by the time I got to six inches here this was too long to actually fit in the stand so the route I'm going instead is I'm going to go sideways means I'm gonna have to move the sump over a couple inches but that's not that big a deal uh, so um, got this little plug here um, it's got a little uh, rubber washer here <laughs> and a cat cat I'm gonna have to start this over I know yes you're a good kitty I am so gonna have to edit this okay so since Going this way is not going to work, uh, just because I don't have enough room to go that way. I'm going to have to set it up going this way. I've got this uh, groovy little uh, plug here, and uh, this cat uh, that I can use to uh, plug in. I always use staple guns in my uh, aquarium projects. To those who are new to my videos, um, staple gun is the orange cat who's always helping. So, this uh, plugs in right here. Uh, of course, I'll tighten that later. Um, it would be so nice if I could just uh, take this part, you know, and just... There's a little piece I bought at, you know, my local hardware store. Just screws on in here. It's a one-inch fitting. And that'd be so cool. You know, I could just plug that in right there, and I've got my connection. That's not going to be a good idea. Um, after some thinking and some research and some talking, this would present an issue on a couple levels. One issue is, well, the main issue is that, say everything uh, doesn't go great. Say uh, this is fine for a year, but then I need to remove this. I'm going to run into some issues. One thing I can't do is I can't stop the flow from the sump to the pump without um, basically draining it. Um, that would be an inconvenience. So. What I need to do is use a valve. Now, um, the valve choice in this particular situation is fairly important. Um, I'm going to turn on my night vision here for a second because I don't think I have proper lighting to show you this. But um, this is what you know people call a ball valve or a... Um, no, that's what I'm going to call it. Um, can't really see in there, so I'm going to turn on the night vision here. Okay, so... This is closed, but as you can see, I just turn a little thing here and uh, turn the knob here, and it uh, attracts kitties. <laughs> um, so you turn that, and that cuts off the water flow. Fantastic, except um, I find those to be a little bit difficult to use, even <laughs> when <laughs> there is just a little bit of water going through. It can be difficult to turn that. Plus, if you get a snail in there, um, if it's already difficult to turn, say you get some little creature crawl in there or something like that, uh, your chances of closing that valve are, are going to be slim to none. So, the type of valve that I'm going to use is called a gate valve, is, is what I call it. And basically you turn this up here, and I'll turn night vision on again so we can get a little bit better view, but you turn this on here, and this comes straight down. It's not something that goes sideways. 
This way you can uh, crush fingers or snails or anything else that gets in there. This is a much more uh, optimal um, type of valve for this particular project. So gate valve, not a ball valve. Um, it also is a little, I, in my opinion, it's probably a little bit more precise as if I wanted to control water flow. So now we are dealing with adding a valve to the chain. You know, we're going to plug this go in here, something like that, and this goes here. There's still an issue though. Um, because you're going to be using sealant for these PVC connections, what happens if I need to take this off? I'm really going to have to start wrenching things. Not my ideal situation. I don't want to be inside there, you know, smacking at it with uh, stuff and possibly causing uh, concussions and shattering my acrylic sump here. Okay, so what we have here is a PVC coupler. And basically what this does is you put a piece of pipe in here, put a piece of pipe in here. You can unscrew this right here. And this piece can go that way, and this piece can go that way. So you still have your watertight seal, and you can still remove the pieces. So, basically plug this in here. So go like this, put a little piece of uh, pipe between there, and that way if something happens I can close the valve, and unscrew this, and take this piece out. Um, as far as sealing things, um, you know, connecting one piece of PVC to another piece of PVC, um, the way I'm going to go is just some clear primer, um, brush that on the inside first, you know, just brush that right in here. Then um, use the cement. I'll probably put the cement on the outside of this, connect it, turn it 360 degrees, make sure there's a secure, gets all the way around and then go from there. Um, for connecting the threaded parts, like, oh, this is heavy. No, I'm not sissy, I just uh, put this on really tight because I'm so strong, oh my gosh. Uh, for the threaded part, I'm actually going to go with just some silicone. Um, I consider this to be a little bit less permanent and less obnoxious than cement or glue. Um, so just in case I need to undo that later, I'd like to have that as an option. So here we see everything sitting in the stand. Uh, the tarp, of course. I've uh, got the pump going to here. We've got our little gate valve here. Uh, this is going to be flowing into the sump. Going this way into the refugium. And over here, uh, I've got the power outlets over here, which I may move over here considering everything, um, but I'll figure that out. Uh, and then I've got the manly combination of pink foam on the brown tarp. So uh, that's what it looks like tonight. Um, hope starting this weekend, I'll be taking the protein skimmer and um, running PVC. I'm thinking back around and into the sump. That'll be another video for later. Thank you so much for watching.